at lunchtime. Achieving a non-racial education system, that's the big goal behind the Gauteng Department of Education's new school twinning initiative. Two schools from two different backgrounds will be paired to collaborate and share resources. The MEC Panyaza Lasufi is hoping this will help improve learner performance. Let's pick up on that story. Uh, reporter Maseko Ratlacha is joining the department as it officially launches this project. Uh, Maseko, good afternoon to you. So how's all of this going to work? Good afternoon, Jeremy. Well, remember they had the pilot projects in 2014-15 uh, where they tried, uh, for instance, with the school in Alexandra, they paired that school with Sandowner, um, which is in, situated in Santon. Um, and after that was successful and all the, the SGBs, the parents, the pupils themselves, the teachers, and even the principals were happy with the pilot project and they actually continued uh, with their, with their um, participation with each other. And what how it will work, Jeremy, is uh, basically that the SGB of both schools are then consolidated and um, it becomes one SGB that will represent both schools. So that means, actually, Jeremy, according to the education department, it means that decisions are not only taken, for instance, we've seen a lot of fights around Afrikaans schools, English schools, and the language of, uh, the language of instruction that is used at different schools where we've seen some schools allegedly um, saying no to pupils joining their, uh, to pupils joining their schools because of the language barrier so that will assist there particularly but as you said Jeremy in your intro it's mainly to make sure that all pupils get equal education they're able to use the same facilities and have the same if for instance you're in Alex and you want to learn how to swim at least you can go to Sandana and no one will stop you but let's take a listen to what uh, Mr. Musiwa said uh, the HOD of the Gauteng Education Department. When we get two schools to twin, there must be an improvement in learning outcomes. We want to make sure that learners of both schools are able to share resources, but they can then benefit from the best of both schools. And that, that is the first thing. The second thing is to ensure that the schools can be able to share resources. You may find that in this school there are specific facilities that they have, but in the other school they have other facilities. But because we may not be able to replicate those facilities immediately, like if this school has a swimming pool the other does not have, the young people of the one school are able to come to use a swimming pool this side and vice versa. Thirdly, we also want to make sure that we strengthen social cohesion because it is important that as, as South Africans, as, as we get our young people to know that it, we are united in our diversity. And I, I'm sure you would have seen that at the singing of the national anthem, the reciting of the preamble, all of us were participating. And you can see the demographics of, this, of, the, of the schools that, that we have here. The type of learner is an indication that this is a program that can get us to move forward to the kind of South Africa that we are all looking for. Am I correct, Maseko, in saying this is the first Afrikaans school to be involved in an initiative like this? Yes, Jeremy, and that was more um, of what made us interested to cover the story because not only is this the first Afrikaans school to actually participate in this initiative, they also are the school that actually approached the Gauteng Health Department and said, listen, we would like to actually uh, support you in this twinning initiative. There is a school in Gajiso where we'd like to help the pupils to be able to, for instance, learn hospitality. If they do have the subject, um, we'll be able to teach them more dishes for instance and that's what we learned we also learned that actually word school uh, word school bastion doesn't have a library and that the the the, the township school in Gajiso um, uh, Madiba comprehensive school has a library and therefore they can use the library there what we found out also Jeremy which is very nice for the pupils at the word school uh, bastion is that they only have uh, rugby in terms of sport this is for the boys of course and actually some of the girls as well uh, whereas in Gajiso they also offer uh, uh, soccer. So if you're interested in playing soccer, you're able to then go to the other school, your twin school in Gajiso, and actually um, start seeing if you have any talents there and if you can take it forward. And it's very nice, Jeremy, because then the, 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 the pupils get to know their talents from a very young age and get to mold them. But the principals, uh, particularly the principal of Madiba um, uh, Comprehensive School, was very excited and um, he welcomed the decision. We are offering different sporting codes, and now we are sharing skills. They are good at the rugby, we are good at soccer, so learners from Bastion will come 
train soccer with us. Those who, who are rugby players will come to the side, train with them. Uh, Bastuan has got good coaches. They are sharing skills with our teachers. So at, at the end, it benefits everybody.